This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Latoya Burroughs. Coming up in the news, Conference's Lord Transform Me initiative launched in the capital, the Health Association face Mission Impossible, and South Bahamas Conference appoints female ministerial intern. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. Hello, I'm Latoya Burroughs. Thanks for joining us for this week's Adventist News in the South Bahamas Conference. The Inter-American Division initiative called Lord Transform Me was officially launched in the South Bahamas Conference this past weekend with a mass rally. The gathering had delegations of members from throughout our churches in this territory. The members were proudly identified by their significant colors, shirts, banners, and mottos. The members displayed church pride and united in the mission of the church and the Lord Transform Me message, which is for every member to get involved in the spreading of the gospel through the Bahamas and the world. The members were charged with this mission by the Lord Transform Me coordinator for the Atlantic Caribbean Union, Pastor Peter Carr. Pastor Carr presented the roadmap and goals of the initiative. As a result, the members departed fired up and ready to allow God to move in their lives. Can we maintain the energy? Yes. I believe it. I believe we can. And I like when you're singing the right song, where you sing, His truth is marching on. And when you say, My church is marching on. That's what, when you get to that verse, and you hear you're singing that song and you say, his church is marching on. Say, my church. My church is marching on. The Adventist Health Professionals Association are on a mission to help create a healthier Bahamas. Whether this mission is impossible or not remains to be seen. The health professionals began a week of health emphasis on September 17th to the 23rd Armed with this mission, they formulated the plan entitled, I Choose to Live Healthy. The health message was also spread through the radio airwaves and on television, including our very own Word SBC 88.3 FM and ATV Channel 658. A fun run walk was held to jumpstart the events early on the 17th in the picturesque Eastern District of New Providence, where participants completed approximately six miles. A two-day diabetes self-management seminar was facilitated by Margaret Daxon, who led the instructional sessions. Participants were empowered and motivated to help in the fight against diabetes. A service of prayer and praise was held at the New Providence Church on Soldier Road, where Elder Ian and Michelle Green presented on the topic, Love Your Neighbor as Yourself, Self-Esteem and the Bible. The association provided information for the week through the weekly Adventist page in the NASA Guardian through articles on health topics such as forgiveness and eye health. The weekend concluded on Sabbath, September 23rd, with a service of Thanksgiving held at the Berea Adventist Church on Blue Hill Road South. During the service, past presidents and past health ministries directors were recognized and honored for their service. The health director of the South Bahamas Conference, Nathalyn Lacroix, commended the association for the work they are doing and have done in the Bahamas since its inception in 2001. Among the past presidents recognized was Dr. Joseph Evans, the founding president, Drs. John Carter, Alvara Higgs, and Monique Mitchell, and Nurse Sakitha Meadows. The past health ministries directors for the South Bahamas Conference were also honored, including Pastor Paul Scavala, Dr. Ida May Hanna, and Nathalyn Lacroix, current health ministries director for the South Bahamas. The speaker for the event, Pastor Edward Sinfleur, delivered a challenge for the congregation to take proper care of their bodies, which was indeed a body temple made by God's design. On Sabbath, September 23rd, Natalie Roberts was introduced as the second female ministerial intern in the South Bahamas Conference. Pastor Roberts took up her first assignment at the Hillview Seventh-day Adventist Church on Tonic Williams Darling Highway under the leadership of Pastor Melvin Lewis. 
Before taking up this assignment, Roberts served as chaplain of Bahamas Academy for about three years where she was responsible for the spiritual activities on the campus and coordinating all religious services. During this internship, she will be given hands-on training in all areas of ministry to serve as a district pastor in the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Pastor Roberts completed her bachelor degree in religion at Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. She is married to Keith Roberts and they have one daughter, Eliana. Let us pray for this family as they continue in ministry for Christ. After this break, we'll have more upcoming events at our conference. Stay with us. In spite of all that has gone wrong with marriages, it is still the gold standard of relationships. Join us on November 10th through 12th, 2017 at the Malia Hotel and Resort for Winning Your Marriage Conference. A dress doesn't wear you. You wear a dress. And hence it's what you put into this dress that brings out its best features. To spend quality time with your spouse, you have to do with her what she enjoys. Change can lead what? To divorce. One or both of the married partners get tired of the emotional wear and tear of their relationship. They're tired, they're tired. No one is changing. Just like you pray for a job, just like you pray for other stuff, God will give you power to make sure that the sexual experience is the best possible experience and both of you are satisfied. God bless you. Visit www.winningyourmarriage.com or call the South Bahamas Conference Office for more information. It's a South Bahamas Conference Family Ministry event. Register now. Welcome back to your Adventist News. I'm Latoya Burroughs. Thanks for watching. Here's what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The Adventist Media Ministry in the South Bahamas Conference moves steadily on and is striving to improve its services to reach others for the Kingdom of God. The television arm of our Adventist media has been in operation locally since the 90s, while our radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, commenced programming in 2013. Despite the various challenges of constant upgrades and maintenance, these entities continue to provide Christian programming throughout the Bahamas and the world. So whether it was shows like Listen Up in the early days, The Adventist News with Andrea Musgrove, Lessons from the Word with Elder Curtis Bryan, or radio shows like Morning Joy with Laverne Stirrup and Simply Healthy with Natalie Lacroix, we continue to spread the good news to all the world. We enjoy coming into your homes, but we can't do it without your help. Last year, we held a pleasure-thon where you were able to contribute to this ministry in a monetary manner. We want to publicly thank our donors once again from last year's pledge -thon, who contributed over $3,000, and to those of you who continue to give on a consistent basis. We look forward to seeing what God will do through you this year. Here are the ongoing projects of the media department, the upgrading of our video cameras and equipment, and the purchasing of a new self-standing tower for our radio station. The dates for the pledge thon are October 10th through 12th, 2017, between the hours of 7.30 a.m. and 5 p.m. You will be able to call in your donations. Plan now to do your part. And our Pathfinders continue to make us proud. All Pathfinder clubs are encouraged to prepare now for the National Youth Day March to be held on Sunday, October 1st at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Pathfinders are asked to meet at Clifford Park no later than 2 p.m. dressed in Class A uniform. The Community and Pathfinder exhibition is fast approaching. The annual event will be held on Monday, October 9th, also at Clifford Park. This will be another grand display of the talents and skills of our youth and young at heart. You don't want to miss any of these events. The Children and Adolescent Ministries Charm Department of the Conference has several upcoming events for you to mark on your calendars. On October 8th, Sunday morning, a doctrinal seminar for the children will be held at the Breath of Life Adventist Church on Marshall Road from 9 o'clock to 12 noon. The Charm Art Exhibition will be open at the South Bahamas Conference Headquarters on Monday, October 23rd and will continue until Sunday the 29th. Exhibition hours will be between regular business hours under the theme, The Refreshing. Children's Day will be celebrated conference-wide in our churches on Sabbath, November 11th. The theme is called to be faithful. 
The Children's Agape Praise will be held in the afternoon at 4 p.m. at the Living Faith Adventist Church on Old Trail Road. And the charm events conclude with a fun day at the Breath of Life Grounds on Marshall Road on Sunday, November 12th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. The Love on Fire family experience began on September 23rd and continues to October 21st, hosted by the Hillview Adventist Church with speaker Pastor Peter Joseph, Family Life Director of the South Bahamas Conference. There will be marriage vow renewals, Bible lessons for the family, along with nightly seminars on a variety of family issues. It's for all, so whether you are single, married, divorced, widowed, grandparents, or children, you are invited to attend. Meetings will be held at 7 o'clock at the church on Tonic Williams Darling Highway. Under the theme, Fulfilling My Purpose, the South Bahamas Conference hosts the Atlantic Caribbean Union's Women's Retreat at the Malia Resort on October 20th through the 22nd, 2017, with guest speaker Linda Anderson. The Dean of Women at Oakwood University comes with a wealth of experience and a deep love for women, especially young women. All women are encouraged to attend. The Adventist Layman Services and Industries ASI Business Fair is set for the 19th of November 2017 at the Old Bahamas Academy Gym on Wolf Road. It begins at 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. If you wish to have a booth, please contact President Ian Green at 556-0492. And the Natural Remedies Seminar with Valerie Schreiber, nutritionist and lifestyle educator from UG Pines, will be held at the Maranatha Adventist Church on Prince Charles Drive from October 25th through 29th. Schreiber will present on the benefits of clay, the dangers of electromagnetic fields coming from cell phones, and how to make your own healing salves, poultices, and formulas. Who doesn't want clean and perfect teeth? You probably spend a lot for it, but are you aware that there are a lot of natural ways for teeth care? They are very easy, and the best part is that you will not even need a mouth freshener after using one of these techniques. These natural ingredients will also keep your mouth odor-free for long hours. Here are a few natural ingredients you can use. A piece of neem stem. This is one of the oldest techniques by which people brush their teeth. Neem is filled with natural antiseptic and antibiotic qualities that prevent gum diseases, cavities, and oral odor. To reap the maximum benefits of neem, break a small branch of the plant, size of a toothbrush. Break the tough edges of one side of the stick and then brush your teeth with it. Salt. Salt is another great natural ingredient for the teeth and it is rich in sodium. This not only cleanses off all dirt from the teeth, but also makes the gums healthier. And if you have a toothache, it is even good for that. If you brush your teeth with salt, then it will rid you of all the bad smell from your mouth as well. Just take a teaspoon of salt and gently brush your teeth and gums with it. Salt and mustard oil. Salt and mustard oil is one of the greatest combinations for whitening your teeth. This is also one of the most awesome natural ways for teeth to be in good condition. Take half a tablespoon of mustard oil and a pinch of salt in a small bowl. Mix them well and then use it to gently brush your teeth. Lemon is also great for dental care. Lemon is very good natural ingredient for the teeth. It is a rich source of vitamin C that happens to be excellent for healthy teeth and gums. It has natural cleansing properties that make the teeth very clean and healthy. Take a tablespoon of lemon juice and massage your teeth and gums with it. Your mouth will feel fresh after this. I'm Bridget Bastian, and this has been your health tip, courtesy of the SBC Media Network. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network for our news feature from around the world. 
Leaders of various Adventist entities in Puerto Rico are assessing the damage in wake of Hurricane Maria. The storm slammed into the island last Wednesday at 155 miles per hour or nearly 250 kilometers per hour. The damage is cataclysmic. The majority of the island's 3.5 million residents don't have electricity, food, water or access to life-saving medicine. Damaged or destroyed power lines and cell phone towers have impeded communication operations among emergency response officials. The administrator of Bella Vista, the church's hospital in the nation, says it is operational. Luis Rivera told the governor of Puerto Rico the hospital is housing and treating 62 patients. The church's inter-American region, along with Loma Linda University Health, is sending funds to Bella Vista to ensure it remains open to serve. Other Adventist leaders have also sent reports, including the president of Antillian Adventist University. Obed Jimenez said that 210 students and faculty living on campus are safe. He also says the university has enough supplies and plenty of food to sustain operations. According to the Director of Communication for the Church's entire Puerto Rico territory, Adventist radio stations in the nation are unable to broadcast. Leaders will continue to make assessments as they prepare to assist church and community members in need. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's Adventist News in the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. On behalf of our production team here at the Adventist Television Channel 658, thank you for watching. I'm Latoya Burroughs. See you next time and have a happy Sabbath.